Marty Schwartz here of Marty Music. Thank you so much for the continued support, subscribing, going to martymusic.com. Thank you so much. Uh, in this video, it's another Gear Thursday video. It's Thursday. And uh, I cover guitars, pedals, effects, anything related to uh, this passion that hopefully we all have here of music and guitar. In this video, one of the requests I get all the time is what amp is this particular amp? And it's the company called Divided by 13. They're fairly local to me up in Orange County, and that's where I grew up. So it's always nice to be collaborating with local people like Taylor Guitars, Divided by 13. Um, this is called the CJ11. So it's an 11 watt, 11 watt amp, which is pretty low wattage considering like a Fender Twin or Mesa Boogie is closer to the 100 watt range. So with the lower wattage, what you do is you get more saturation, breakup, distortion at a lower volume, which can be desirable or not desirable. But it would be comparable, this particular one, because I love Fender amps. Uh, and when I originally met them many years ago, I asked for their amp that would be, you know, what's comparable to more of your Fender kind of amp as opposed to more of your Marshall style you know they're, they're unique in their own right but what's closer to a fender because that's what i like and what i'm used to so the cj11 fit the bill uh now look at it looks so cool it's such a cool looking amp but i've used it in many videos so you can decide for yourself if it sounds good or not i really like the way it sounds um it's just one channel it's very simple in fact on the back here which i'm going to show you it's literally got four knobs four old knobs and you can get a distorted sound out of straight out of the amp or you can get a clean sound straight out of the amp. My personal preference in just music in general, and I've tried it all different ways, for me, it's just my own personal opinion, is that I like to get a super clean tone and sound on the amplifier and then I use distortion with pedals. All right, so like I said, very simple configuration here. There's four knobs. You got a power switch and you got the standby. Uh, the power switch, you flip it on and the tubes warm up. And then when you're ready to rock and roll, you hit that standby switch on and you get, you get sound, baby. So not every amp has like the same universal knobs. Different amps have different setups, even different names for the same thing. So let's look at the divided by 13 knobs. We've got this that says MV. That stands for master volume. We got bass. We got treble. So only two EQs, no mids as an option. Then we've got volume. So on just about any pedal or amplifier, what I like to do is, especially the EQ, I like to set the EQ at 12 o'clock. So I just go right up to the middle, like so. Now, if I'm playing a Les Paul or a humbucker guitar and it's too dark, then from the 12 o'clock position, I may turn down the bass or turn up the treble. If I have a Strat or a Telecaster and it's super bright, maybe I just turn the treble down a little bit. But it's kind of like, you know, this is your basic seasoning. And then as you taste, you add more salt, more sugar, whatever. But I like to start with that 12 o'clock position and then adjust accordingly. Now with this particular amp, you've got two different levels of gain and volume. You've got the master volume and you've got what's called regular volume. Now on another amp, like the Mesa Boogie that I have, which I love as well, or my Fender amps, I love them as well. This volume on the divided by 13, actually that means the gain or the amount of distortion. And the master volume means the overall volume. So if you saw an overdrive pedal, you would have one knob that said drive. That would be this one on the amp, volume. And then master volume is just the amount of level. So let me show you how I get a clean tone. I'm going to turn this volume all the way down, which is the amount of gain. Master volume all the way down. So if I started to plug in and play, you would hear absolutely nothing, right? So next what I do for this amp is I'm going to turn the master volume up to 12 o'clock as well because that's the overall volume. Now the gain 
is still turned all the way down. So if I flip this on and started playing, you still would hear nothing. So all I would do is start to bring this gain up until I start to hear the clean tone coming up. So in other words, the lower you can get this with a loud volume, the more clean the amp's gonna be. So I would just start to bring it up until I get a nice clean tone. So if I want as crunchy as the amp will get, but not blowing my eardrums out, then the concept is the opposite. I'm going to turn the master volume all the way down, and then we've got the volume, which remember, on this amp, that means gain or even distortion. I could crank this all the way up, got the master volume all the way down. If I started playing right now, you would hear nothing but this is as distorted as the amp can get with the volume turned all the way up. And then it's got a pull, a pull where you can pull this up. You can't really hear it, but it pulls up and that gives you even more distortion. So if I have this, this, this uh, drive, what they call volume, but if I have it pulled out and all the way cranked, these are still at 12 o'clock. This is as distorted as this particular amp can get without pedals. Right? So then the master volume, which is the overall volume, remember I've got as much drive as possible, then I would just start to bring up the master volume and it'll be cranked. So let me, let me go right there. This is as cranked as it will get. So let's hear that. <laughs> say you just want some some gritty blue sound you don't want it as heavy as the amp will get well you could push that down you could kind of adjust it and bring the drive down the volume up and on any pedal or any amplifier you're going to be balancing the drive and the master volume and they just sometimes have different names but you've got one side that's the heat the other side is the level <laughs> So there it was, the Divided by 13 CJ11. Hopefully you enjoyed the demo and maybe you learned a little, got a little osmosis insight into amplifier, dialing in amplifiers and whatnot. 
Uh, and remember, every Thursday is a new piece of gear video here at Marty Music, so I'd love to hear other gear that you'd like to see me cover or demo. Uh, anything at all, you can leave it in the comments below, and I want to give you guys what you want. So thanks again for supporting Marty Music right here, and I hope to see you guys in another video real soon. See you later.